Are you looking for a way to schedule your Instagram posts from your desktop computer? I'm gonna show you a tool to help you do just that. And as an added bonus, it's free. Before we get started, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel if you're looking for digital marketing and business growth videos. I also want to thank the sponsor for this episode, and that is Solo.to. They are the one bio link for everything. If you're on Instagram, you know you only get the one link. It goes in your bio. You can't link anywhere else. It's valuable. And Solo.to just makes it so much more valuable. You can embed videos, podcasts, music, put your blogs, your website, you can do it all with solo.to. And the great thing about solo.to is they have a free plan. You can give it a try, no credit card required, no risk, and they have paid plans that start as little as a dollar a month. And if you use the referral link in the description, you can save 10% off any upgrade package if you upgrade within 48 hours of signing up. So give it a try, solo.to. If you're a creative business owner, Instagram is the jam, but I can't tell you how many clients I work with and the challenge they have is they don't schedule Instagram posts because Instagram does not make it easy to do that. There's no tools natively or inside of the Instagram app Instagram on desktop is is kind of poopy. It's not very useful or good. I mean, and they do that intentionally. Now there are some tools, some tools uh, like Later, which uh, I recommended. There are some other tools we've recommended. Uh, I did a video before of um, uh, digital marketing tools that we're very thankful for. Um, so you can definitely check out that video. Uh, I'll put that above and in the description below. Um, so you can see a little bit more about Later, but Later is great. As you can see, it's the world's favorite Instagram marketing, at least in their opinion, uh, it, it is. Um, it is easy to use. Um, you can also use other platforms inside of Later. Now the challenge with Later, like a lot of third party tools, when you're scheduling on Instagram, it doesn't just go. The way it works is you schedule the post and then you, ha you have to put the app on your phone and you get like a reminder. And then you have to tap the reminder, it brings it up, it copies the, the video or photo to your phone, it also copies the, the text to your phone, then you have to open up Instagram or it'll automatically open up Instagram in some cases, and then you have to put all that stuff in and you hit post. Now that's still better and at least being a little more thoughtful and strategic that you are scheduling it. Um, but again, it's easy to even miss those notifications. You know, you can schedule it a week from now and, you know, maybe you're in the middle of a meeting and then that post doesn't go out. Um, and that can be a, a problem uh, or just an annoyance, maybe. Not even so much a problem, just a little annoyance. Um, another platform that you can use for Instagram scheduling is Content Studio. This is the tool that, that uh, Trade School Creative actually uses um, for ourselves and for our clients. I enjoy it. But again, the way that their Instagram scheduling is set up, it's the same thing. You schedule it, it gives you a reminder, then you have to tap that reminder, it opens it up, bop, 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 right? So today, I'm going to bring to you a tool that skips all that, that is free, that you may already have and don't even know that it exists. And it is Creator Studio. Now, Creator Studio, you have to have a Facebook business account to use this. And if you're watching this video and you have a business Instagram or you have a business and you're running Instagram through it, I recommend you create a business Facebook account. The way that that works is, this is different than a business page. A business Facebook account manages, it kind of lives at the top level and it manages all of your business assets uh, on Facebook and now by extension on Instagram. So you would put your uh, Facebook business page in business manager, your Instagram account in business manager. This is how you start to turn on or how you turn on Facebook ads 
ads, Facebook pixel, all this stuff gets housed underneath Facebook business manager. And you sign up for that at business.facebook.com. So you got to do that first. Okay. So if you haven't done that yet, go do that now. It shouldn't take too long. It's pretty easy to do. You do have to connect your Facebook account, all that stuff. But then once you do this, Facebook creator studio, this is a tool that you have access to. And so I'm logged in here. You'll see, let me bring it on over my own little screen here. So I have a home, a content library, so I can take a look at, you know, all the posts I've already done. I can actually schedule content inside of here. You can do testing stories, videos, you know, I didn't want to go deep into creator studio in this, uh, video, but I encourage you that when you sign up for this, it is kind of a little shiny new toy, play around with it, you know, experiment. Um, you can see your insights, some monetization things, but, but let's, let's fast forward through all that. We're here because you wanted to see how to schedule Instagram posts. All right. Well, you'll notice here at the top, there's a Facebook icon and then beside it, there's an Instagram icon. Ooh, I wonder what we're going to do. We're going to click that. Okay. So now we are in our Instagram account and look at this calendar right over here. So here you can see what's already been posted. And with this tool, create post Instagram feed. You can write your caption, that's a great caption right there. And of course, let's add an emoji to that with a vampire. I don't know. Look how different that vampire looks from the one that comes up here. Those are two distinctly different vampires. One is like Dracula and one is like Party City Dracula. Okay, anyways. All right, let's keep going down here. Add content from file. So this is where you can upload it from your desktop. So I'll just take a photo here. Okay. And it gives us the ability to crop it. So this photo comes in landscape as they call, and uh, we're going to go square. So I'm going to crop it square. Save. Okay. Um, let's see here. We can add a location. Now, now, now keep in mind, this is not as fully featured as posting on Instagram, but this is equal to or more than kind of has the features of many of the third party tools. Okay. And again, it's free. Um, we can take a look at advanced settings. Not many. That's not very advanced. You can turn off commenting. Don't know why you'd want to, you know, do that. Um, and right here, so we can publish now, save as draft or schedule it. Now you can also have the option here to, uh, now that obviously Instagram's owned by Facebook, you can post this also to Facebook. Just as a quick pro tip, I do not recommend pushing Instagram posts to Facebook. Okay. They, they are potentially different audiences for you. The, the way that content is presented on Instagram is very different than on Facebook. And I've seen in a lot of cases with clients where, um, photos or content pushed from Instagram directly to Facebook just does not have as good a reach and engagement as if you posted it separately, completely differently. You took that same photo and maybe you, you, you put it into Facebook, you wrote actual copy. You just, they're just different platforms. So even though this is easy, um, easy is not always best. Okay. And then you would say schedule. Now here's the other thing. Let me, uh, trash this. Yes add content and I'll go ahead and do file upload. You can also bring in videos. Now remember with, with Instagram, I mean, it, it, unless you want to be moved into, um, IGTV, you got to keep the videos under a minute. Um, this one meets that requirement. So, so it's fine. Um, and it looks like is it now look at this new tag people in your videos. So you can even apply tags in here and then schedule this video. The other thing with videos is you can set a cover image, right? So whether this is a, a, a image from the video, right? 
or you can add your own custom, or you can choose a specific frame. So I like this phrase right here. This was uh, this is a clip from my from my podcast I did about my learnings from 2020. There we go, and you can schedule it. So one very last thing I wanted to show you, one last option for you, okay? How the, how the heck do I get out of here now? Uh, 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 I'm just gonna close it. Yes, it's fine. Create a new one, Instagram feed. Okay, add content from Facebook page. So here we go. You can actually choose content that's already been published or exists on your Facebook page and share that on Instagram. So again, I want to show you this tool. Uh, I think so many creative business owners uh, use Instagram, but they don't schedule it. And when you don't schedule it or when you're not being strategic about it, the problem is, is you forget about it or it becomes knee jerk, right? So Creator Studio, it allows you to think about your content right? Schedule it out. And this is also, I am big on productivity. If you're new to this channel, I love me some productivity. You could sit down in an hour, schedule out your Instagram posts for the month, or at least 80% of them for the month. And then th th that task is done. You can get on with the other aspects of your business as opposed to stopping and starting, stopping and starting, stopping and starting your day. But, oh, I need to post on Instagram. That doesn't mean you still can't do that, but at least you know, you have the peace of mind that you put in the strategy work. That stuff's gonna be going out with consistency. That's about your product, service, business, brand. That's why this tool is great. Creator Studio, available uh, as a Facebook business tool. Check it out.